Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have an exciting package today. I saw someone post in like a tea group I'm in about the whistling kettle and I looked them up and was blown away by all the matcha flavors that they have and that they didn't have added sugar, which is the only flavor type of matcha I like to have. So that package just came and I've been very anxious for it. I love the box. It says, hurry, put the kettle on. Your tea is here. Um, oh, hold on. Here's what the side looks like. My tripod's not very big, so I, I try my best to show you guys. It says... I just want to give you a look at it. Loose leaf, it goes down all the different times they have, or all the different kinds that they have. The campaign for real tea promotes the benefits of premium loose leaf tea. Most tea bags contain nothing more than the tea dust left over after sorting. This dust gray tea has a shorter shelf life, absorbs odors, has a tendency to become bitter. Loose leaf tea contains natural oils, which give tea its flavor and health benefits. And again, I've been plugging Mayleaf a lot. Um, if you watch Mayleaf, that's one thing he says, you know, especially stay away from tea bag so I'm just going to how do I I think you open it from the end please hold okay so I open the flap and it's the whistlingkettle.com so we'll go ahead and open the box it's nicely wrapped we've got some orange tissue so let me just pull out what we have there is also some brown paper. And what's in here? Ooh. Hold on. I really like their uh I really like their uh invoice. It's really cute. Okie dokie. Still digging through the box. Hold on. Okay, the first thing we have is, let me just take everything out. Um, okay. And, uh, I always like to shake the paper because you never really know. Okay, the first thing I got... Anytime I can get a cute pin and add it to my collection, I'm all about that. So, the first thing I got was their tin. It's black. It's square. It says the whistling kettle. Very pretty. Black and gold. And it's like embossed. There's the top. Let's check out the seal. Kind of reminds me of like a Harney and Sons tin. So, I got that, and I think I'll be ordering some more. Though I really like those, actually. Especially if you have some, like, higher quality tea bags you could put, you know, in there. The next thing I got was a sampler. And you pick out, like, six samples, and then you add this box to your cart. And it applies the discount to it. So, and I think there's different colored boxes you can get. So, we got the yellow one. And we'll just take a look. It's very luxurious feeling. Glossy. Has the whistling kettle on it and a little window at the top. Is it taped? Be smarter than the box, Valerie. Be smarter than the box. Oh. Hmm. Oh, it kind of seals weird. Sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to be smarter than the box. Okay. I ordered a mystery tea. So, I don't know if they threw it in here or not. I guess I'll have to look at my trusty old invoice over here. Hold on. Let me double check myself. Uh, yes. Special mystery sample. All right, I'm going to go through these and see which ones I ordered. Maple Taffy, so I ordered this one. That's a actually pretty generous tea size. I really like these packages. 
I like that you can see it. It's good it's just a sample, but you wouldn't want anything long-term stored in that. S'mores Toffee Crunch. Yep, I ordered this one. Uh, as you could tell, I'm a dessert tea girl. So, Scottish Caramel. This must be my free one. Nope, I ordered this one. And it says this is a poo wear. Celebration tea. I did order this one. And that's a black tea. Carrot cake. All right. Rot cheer is why I, uh, alongside the next item I ordered, why I placed my order. I love David's tea carrot cake. It's like one of my all time favorite teas. I've been looking for a replacement. And I really hope that this one lives up to it. I'm really excited. I'm going to have that as soon as I'm done filming. Lemon souffle. That one looks good too. And, oh, there's a couple more. Please hold. Mystery sample. Oh, it doesn't give you the name. Okay. I just thought uh, they just throw an extra one in. Mystery sample. It's got rooibos, apple, cocoa, caramel, marigold, hazelnut, blue cornflower, and chestnut. I'll have to uh, look on the website and see if I can figure out which one that is. So that's kind of fun. I wish I'd tell you which one it is, though. Because what if you like it and you want to reorder it, you know? I got oatmeal raisin cookie. Again, again, they had so many dessert teas. I was... I had to do it. And the last one, salted caramel chocolate. And yeah, I ordered that one as well. So, sweet. All right. So, those are my samplers that I got. Um, I think I ordered more than six, but um, they were they were not that expensive. So, let me just set these to the side. I cannot wait to try all of those. All right. The whole reason I placed my order, this baby right here. Thank you to whoever posted that in a tea group. Um, the This is their on-the-go matcha. Now, you can buy all of these flavors in a bigger bag. I was actually going to buy their banana just because I love the three-leaf banana so much, but it was sold out. So, I just placed it for it's got 16 and each one is a different flavor as you can tell on the side mix pack um just kind of tells you how to uh steep it up that says 18 but i'm pretty sure on the website it was 24 dollars my invoice doesn't tell me but i'm pretty sure this is $24 online. And I want to just go over the flavors with you guys. So I plan on drinking my way through this. Also, while I'm opening this, I'm just kind of showing you guys the package. Um, Today's day two of my self-quarantine. I took two weeks off from work. So uh, I think it's unsure times for everybody. So anyway, I should have plenty of time to get through these all. Um, this is very exciting for me. I've always wanted to try Bird and Blends matcha, but I've never been able to afford it. It comes from England. And it's pretty pricey. And it seems like every time they have a free shipping sale, I'm like, my tea budget is like blown or something. The timing just never worked out, but they have matchas that are flavored, and I've always wanted to get that. I just, the timing just hasn't worked out for me on that, but so this was pretty exciting, and I think they're out of New York. Pretty sure this company is. The first one is just pure matcha, chocolate matcha, never been like a chocolate fan, so I've never tried a chocolate matcha, so I'm excited, butterfly blue, I want to order some straight up blue butterfly pea flower, pea flower, blue butterfly pea flower powder where it's ground up, I think that's pretty much all this blue matcha is, so excited to try this one raspberry matcha I love raspberry matchas especially adagios vanilla matcha 
watermelon. This one, I cannot wait to try. Cannot, cannot wait. Mocha. Lemon. I love lemon, so I'm excited to see how that one tastes. Strawberry. Peach. And again, I love Adagio's peach matcha. Coconut. Three leaves is good. Can't wait to see um, how the Whistling Kettles is. Blueberry. Blueberry is like my all-time favorite matcha. So this is going to tell me how good their matchas are. Chai matcha. Turmeric ginger. Mint matcha. And the last one, ooh, honey matcha. That's kind of neat. I haven't seen a honey matcha before. So these are all the ones that I got. I thought it was really neat that they offered that. They offer larger sizes of any of these flavors. So I cannot wait to try that. And I just wanted to share my goodies with you guys. Check them out, whistlingkettle.com. Again, I do believe they're out of New York. I was looking to see if it said something but I do believe that they are and uh, give them a go they have lots of tea flavors they've got lots of matcha they they even have some of their own tea wear which was really pretty and I love their tins as well it seems very luxurious so can't wait to try that if you guys have tried them leave me a comment below what do I need to go for first and leave me a comment if you guys are going to be trying them as well the shipping was really fast I think I ordered this last week so it came in just a few days so anyway remember um i appreciate if you guys support me like and subscribe leave a comment while you're here i'd like to know and um if you came by for a visit and i will see you guys in my next upload all right guys so we're outside i just made the watermelon matcha and it is brown in color i don't know if it's supposed to be like that um most ceremonial matchas aren't going to be flavored because if it's ceremonial, it's, what's the word? It's, it's wrong to do that. Like if you've got a good ceremonial matcha, you know, you're not going to flavor that. So I didn't expect ceremonial, but I mean, at least Adagio's flavored matcha is green. Again, I don't know if it's the flavoring that they used. I have not tried it, so I'm going to try it right now <laughs> I just wanted to show y'all I mean I've had flavored matchas that are still green now I haven't opened other flavors yet but I just thought I would add this in because I don't ever show myself drinking or enjoying that hold on that is okay I'm just gonna keep it real with y'all that is not good. Um, maybe I'm just spoiled to pure ceremonial matchas now. But even Three Leafs matchas are very green. And the flavors taste very natural. This tastes like the base matcha is like when I first tried matcha, I went to my local Asian market and bought a bag for like $7. And it was brown in color and disgusting. This tastes like that. Now, maybe it's just the watermelon. I am going to try some of the other ones. But, uh, yeah, that's not good. Not good at all. So, I'm going to be fair if I, I feel bad saying something's not good. It's not my taste. Um, so, I'm going to try another one and film it just to see if the base matcha is still that, that, that brown color. Because that would be a very low grade matcha and that would not be good. So, I guess I'll see you guys on the next cup. Alright guys, so trying the blueberry. The smell isn't very blueberry-ish. Um, in real life, this one slightly a little more green, but still very brown. Very, very brown. I'm doing this one-handed, so. 
I'm trying to just see if the watermelon one was bad. And it just dawned on me that I didn't get a banana one in my sampler, which is what I was really wanting to try. It's sold out online, so maybe they're, it's something they're discontinuing. The watermelon one did not froth at all. And what little bit it did when I stopped whisk whisking, it disappeared, which is also a sign of poor matcha. Um, my Arita garden from Jade Leaf, the limited edition ceremonial, you guys, I'm telling you, if you buy a ceremonial that is quality, you'll know what I'm talking about. I barely whisked it, and it just frothed up. See, watch. It's going to go flat. <clears throat> like nothing. Matcha shouldn't do that. <clears throat> really disappointed. I've not had matcha this bad in a long time y'all that is brown in color like i had high hopes for it that is bad oh i'm like dreading drinking this like when you really really get into good matcha and good tea you really start to appreciate it all right here goes the blueberry. I would show my face, but guys, I am looking a quarantine mess. Oh, oh my gosh. What the is that? Hold on. I wish I could see my face. Okay, I'm going to do this for y'all. Eyebrows not done. Hair not done. Okay. I'm not making this up. Oh, y'all, that is not good. That is not good. I even made sure I had the exact temperature and everything. So, <clears throat> no, the blueberry is even worse than the watermelon. I don't even know how that's possible. My one daughter's hot and she don't want to be seen. Oh, that is bitter. And what's crazy, I had put more almond milk than I normally would in a good latte. Like a good latte. That's our cat. One of our cats. Uh, a good latte really doesn't need that much almond milk because it's naturally sweet and good in flavor. This really makes me appreciate jade leaf matcha and adagio matcha so much more right now. Like I'm cringing thinking about this. <laughs> it's like they took the cheap 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 ingredient grade matcha and flavored it and all it did was made flavored bitter crap and i do not like to be super harsh in my reviews but if y'all remember back in the day with the candle review i was known for like my honesty ain't nothing changed here I uh, do not personally recommend their matchas. Now, um, I don't like to give bad reviews, but I do like to be honest in regards to my taste. Whew, I wouldn't give that to my worst enemy. Um, but to be fair, I think I'll make a cup of their tea because their teas really actually did look good, um, even through the packaging. So I'm going to try that and update you guys because I don't want to leave with like a bad review, but... That matcha is a no-go. Like, I'm not even going to finish that. And I do not believe in wasting tea. But, like, it is making me have the worst acid reflux. That is not good. <laughs> so, I'll be back when I update you guys with a cup of their tea.